Good afternoon. I want to welcome you to the 2012 induction ceremony for Phi Kappa Phi. We're breaking new ground this, this year. We're also incorporating the book and key club. Is that correct? And Dr. Thomas Pulaski is the, the faculty mentor for that. Can everybody hear me okay? Excellent. I apologize for the shaking of the screen. It is not your eyes. It's never happened before. I use this computer regularly in the classroom as well as in here. And I have no clue as to why, why it's going on like this. But it will not deter us. Um, Winthrop's chapter, as you see, is, was founded in 1964 for chapter number 89. For a lot of this, I could read it to you. I'm hoping. You, can you read that okay? Please let me know if you can, and I'll just be quiet and let you read. You okay with that? <laughs> Loading, I'm sure. I just watched this earlier. We'll move on. <laughs> I realize that I have a typo there. That's not 1987, that is 1897. And that may not be my only typo. We'll, hopefully it will be. That is pronounced philosophia creteto photon. One thing that does separate Phi Kappa Phi from the other ones is that it encompasses all disciplines. And I find that very <coughs> welcome. <coughs> These are the Greek letters for Philosophia Creteto Photon. And as you see, that translates into let the love of learning rule humanity. Actually, this slide is, we'll repeat this after we're inducted. This is the part of the ceremony in which we will ask you to go up to the stage. And I 
think I will probably cut some lights on so that you'll be able to read. You know, I did not finish. I, I apologize. I did not introduce the other members of the officers for Phi Kappa Phi. We have Dr. Gary Alderman. Ms. Christy Glidner. And Ms. Abby Bradner. Now, with that said, they're all going to, we will all participate in this, and I guess this will be the point where I'm going to get you to go to this side of the stage, we'll go to that side, and you will direct these, and you guys will walk across the stage. You will get the chance. When did they mention, is it while they were up here, when they mentioned? When they were So, what you guys end up doing, you'll go across the stage. It's a little tight with two pianos back there. But you'll come, you'll receive something here. And once you get into the middle, if you aren't blinded by the shaking light, you can stop and mention your faculty mentor should you have one. And then to this side, and then you're back down these steps and over here. All right, here we go.
Catherine Steele, a marketing major. I'd like to recognize and thank my mentor, Dr. Jane Thomas. And now we have seniors being inducted. Our first senior is Catherine Daniels, business administration major. I would like to recognize my mentor, Dr. Barbara Fuller. Senior Portia Edwards, sociology major. I would like to recognize my mentor, Dr. Jonathan Marks. And we have Senior Christine Nicodem, chemistry.
you've ever thought about studying abroad, going overseas to study, this would be a great opportunity to find funding that would help with those costs. One of the statistics, or several of the statistics that I have forgotten, and they were in here at one point, is just how selective Phi Kappa Phi is in offering a membership. Do you happen to have this off, off the top of your head? You don't, do you? For, would you share this? This would be pretty impressive. You guys just weren't picked. Randomly right. to be a member. In order to be eligible to be a member of Phi Kappa Phi or Winthrop, you have to be either in the top 7.5% of the junior class or the top 10% of the senior class, or if you're a graduate student, you have to have a 4.0 GPA. It's as simple as that. We go strictly by academics. And so that's not us really put you guys in a, in a, a class above average, and if there's some mistake, you look like, how did I get that one? Uh, <laughs> there, there weren't mistakes. And I'm so glad that you guys have chosen to you know, become a member. A lot of people will see it, the invitation, and not understand what it is, and probably decline or just not respond. And I'm so glad that you guys did choose to become members. You are in really pretty good company, I think. Notable Phi Kappa Phi members. In business, this guy, Jim Barksdale, creator of Netscape. Something that I, I kind of mentioned, mentioned briefly earlier was let the love of learning rule humanity. That's part of it. But Phi Kappa Phi is heavily involved in service to the community. And we find that most members of notable character, that, like I'm pointing out to you here, like look at this guy, he got 5.4 million endowment to the University of Miami. Most of these people are doing a lot of things for community, as well as they have rather successful careers. Clinton, Supreme Court judge, arts and sciences. It's the guy in the middle. That's Dr. Ambrose. I really like this personally. I'm very, um, I'm very involved in reading all that I can about World War II, and this guy was. I've read the biographies that he's done on both Eisenhower, Nixon. He's also done a lot of writing on, on World War II generals. He was recipient of the Medal for Distinguished Public Service. Once again, that goes back to being a member of Phi Kappa Phi. Astronauts. Novels.
This guy must have been a real character. I mean, him juggling or riding a unicycle down the halls of Bell Laboratory. Personally, I think it's a very fun story. It's true, though, written from several accounts. Visual and performing arts. One of my favorite jazz pianists is Dave Brubeck. Ellis Marsalis is the, uh, the father of Winton and Brad Bradford, Frederick Marsalis. Uh, he's sort of the elder spokesman for New Orleans jazz. <coughs> At this point, this would conclude our portion of the induction ceremony for you guys. And what I would like to do is bring up Dr. Pulaski and have him discuss book and key and introduce the inductees to that as well. Thank you. Good afternoon. I wish to thank again Professor Dicker officers of Phi Kappa Phi for allowing the book and key to tag on to your induction ceremony this afternoon. Um, my name, as mentioned, is uh, Dr. Tom Polanski. I'm a professor of mathematics, and I'm a faculty <coughs> advisor to book and key. What is book and key? You know, book and key is an institution that only exists at Winthrop. It's an honor society that only Winthrop has a chapter of. It's a, a liberal arts honor society. It's designed for juniors and seniors of high scholastic standing and sound character. Its admission standards are quite complicated, but they are designed to be in accordance with the national standards of Phi Beta Kappa, which is the National Liberal Arts Honor Fraternity I mentioned earlier. The Winthrop chapter of Book and Key was founded in 1934 uh, by professors Martin and McCain. They chose a Greek motto for Book and Key, which I, unlike Professor Dicker, will not attempt to pronounce, uh, but in English it means not the many, but the best. Uh, not surprisingly, the emblem of the organization is a book, which symbolizes the accumulated wisdom of all human experience, and a key, which stands for the spirit of inquiry that opens the book. We have two inductees present with us today. I'll ask them to please stand. Portia Edwards and Chad Ryder. Since its founding, Book and Key has welcomed over 800 Winthrop students to its membership, and we congratulate you today on joining this distinguished group. If you are graduating this semester at the graduation ceremony next month, your membership in Book and Key will be recognized in the print program. Thank you, and congratulations.